Nigerians have criticized the United States mission in the country for commiserating with the Nigerian Air Force over the unfortunate plane crash on Sunday, but keeping quiet for weeks over those who lost their lives and belongings to the military onslaughts in Olu and also local government areas of Imo states. The U.S. mission in Nigeria on Sunday tweeted about the military aircraft crash, expressing its sincere condolences. The United States expressed sincere condolences today at Nigerian Air Force, family members, and all Nigerians for the loss of life in today's crash, air aircraft crash, it said. The Nigerian Air Force on Sunday confirmed seven of its personnel on board a Beechcraft King Air B-350I aircraft dead when the jet crashed at the international at the Namdekano, sorry, Namde Azikiwe, I beg your pardon, International Airport Abuja. The aircraft en route to Mina in Niger State crashed close to the runway of the airport after reporting engine failure. But Nigerians tackled the United States mission on its Twitter handle for keeping quiet while the military and the Eastern Security Network conflict raged in the Olu communities of Imo states in the third week of January, leading to loss of lives and property. For instance, at Kingston, Namdi said, I have never known that at the US in Nigeria actually exists in Nigeria, but you have kept mute over the death of Biafrans all this while, including the recent one in Olu. At Peter Nice Guy said, Did you lose your voice when innocent civilians going about their daily activities were killed in Olu? Hashtag Olu Massacre, hashtag Olu Air Attack. Are they not humans too? Can the United States Air Force release missiles on their own children? If you're going to speak up, please do not be selective. At Niger Daily, FedEx said, Where was your voice when the Nigerian army went on a shooting spree using attack helicopters in a populated residential area in Olu? Do the happenings there deserve no mention? Biafran Son at Biafran Son 7 said, So you all have eyes and can see. You already sent condolences to their families, but you fail to tell them that their attack in Anambra and Imo states earlier this week is an abuse of power and office. God will surely disgrace you all to the world. Osita Olisemeka Mwabiafra at Olisa at Osita Olisemeka said, Meanwhile, at US in Nigeria did not see the atrocities committed by the so called military in Olu. They massacred people just the same way they did in Obibo. God is judge overall. Another person says, Please, the condolences should go to the people of Olu in Biafra land coming under attack from the Nigerian Air Force just because they want a way out of a terrorist state run by the Nigerian government who are all terrorists in power helping the Boko Haram and the Fulani headsmen to kill at will. Prince Ignatius Ebuzie said can't believe you guys are in Nigeria and in Nigerian soil, but kept quiet over the secret war, bombardment, and killings of indigenous people of Biafra by the Nigerian Boko Haram in army uniforms sponsored by the Britain in proxy. Adamma said, What about hashtag Obibu massacre? Why have you not expressed your sincere condolences to the families of the victims? who were brutalized and murdered to death by the Nigerian army. Why? Mark Levinson said, so the United States is observing all that is happening in Nigeria, including the bombardments going on 
in the eastern Nigeria, but kept quiet, history will judge. In the last week of January, some elder statesmen in Imo State had condemned the destruction of lives and property in the Olu local government area, demanding justice for those who were allegedly killed by the military. The release was signed by Okechuku Mwaguma, Victoria Ibezim Ohairi, Dr. Sam Amadi, Fabian Okoye, Stanley Ibe, Dr. Walter Duru, Tony Opara, Chidi Igwe, and Ogechi Ike. We are worried that the current situation in Olu has put the lives, property, and livelihoods of innocent families and residents of the affected communities at great risk and inconveniences. People have been forced to flee their homes and many displaced, including poor families who depend on the daily income for their livelihoods. Consider the outcomes of similar reprisal military attacks in the past, from the Odi massacre to Zaki Biam, and recently the military onslaught on residents of Oyibo, River State. We fear that similar fate may befall innocent residents of Olu. Just last October, a reprisal attack by officers of the 34 Artillery Brigade of the Nigerian Army during the violence that trailed the hashtag answers protests left five persons dead and others injured in Worubi, Mbitoli in Imo State. The dead and the injured are yet to get justice. The current massacre in Olu adds to the list of extrajudicial killings in Imo perpetrated by military forces without anybody held to account. Imo communities are crying for justice, they had said. The military authorities or the government have yet to react to the probe and demand for justice. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? The Nigerians are now angry and are knocking the US mission in Nigeria for speaking up on the Abuja crash but avoiding the Olu violence and killings by the Nigerian army. Well, this is very, very true. If they must speak out and condemn one, they should condemn all because the people who were uh, attacked in Olu are also human beings. The people who were killed in Olu are also human beings and they deserve uh, condolences. Their family deserves compensation and condolences that they can get at this particular point in time. It is sad and unfortunate that the US mission did not speak up and speak up for this particular people and the Nigerians are knocking them. Well, what are your thoughts, guys? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it were. Drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share this news story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.